the story begins uh, with um, tales about this printer which you probably read before you stumbled upon of, of this video and the uh, stories are uh, the problems which you can encounter uh, many horror stories stories of a huge variety of different people and um, I was also the person who was uh, reading those stories but I still made the purchase of this uh, uh, 3D printer uh, and I really wanted to record this video uh, to show you that it is possible to get a reliable uh, really 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 good printer uh, for really small amount of money the price was really just a fragment of full price uh, the original owner uh, he didn't tell me but uh, i think that he wasn't able to get it to print properly at least uh, as i did uh, at this point and um, that was a major problem because he wanted to get rid of it so I'm going to tell you what I needed to do to get this printer at uh, this level of uh, quality prints. I'm going to show you this face. This is a pet G and uh, I'm going to try and show you with this light how well printed this face is. It is, I mean, if you, if person is not familiar with 3D printing, uh, that person wouldn't be able to tell you or uh, just assume that this is something which is 3D printed. I mean, uh, there is no bad part. And this is a pet G, which, as you probably know, is not that much forgiving to uh, when printing uh, as uh, P PLA. With PLA, I could uh, print these ways like uh, twice faster. At this point, uh, we are print printing around uh, 40 millimeters per second, and um, this is with uh, this is with uh, uh, specifically pet G settings. Uh, I'm printing slower with around 50% uh, of uh, cooling, uh, 230 degree uh, nozzle temperature with uh, 75 degree bed. Those are best settings for a GTEC uh, PET G uh, filament. Uh, these settings are something uh, which can vary from uh, filament to filament, but uh, they are quite important. I probably needed to spend uh, one spool like this to tune this up to get this uh, level of quality. I, I just can't stop looking at this. Uh, this is uh, really amazing print. Anyway, the first thing which I want to, to, to tell you to do, if you got a brand new printer, just try to start printing and see what you get. If you got a used printer, check everything up. Check uh, all the axes, all the screws, follow the, the official guides to, to check everything. You want everything uh, on hardware side to be tuned up. I mean, this is uh, common sense for every printer, but uh, I just want to know this because you're gonna save many, many hours of uh, finding a solution and solution can be something, something really simple or stupid. Uh, so we gonna throw that, throw that on the side and uh, go immediately with the leveling. Leveling uh, of uh, bed can be daunting on this uh, printer, but uh, I really had a, a problem with that and uh, this is how I managed to solve it. The first thing which you need to do is do an install of uh, screw tilt adjustment uh, on the clipper. It is super easy. You have a guide on the official illegal Discord. This will help you a ton of time. I'm gonna explain you quickly. Basically, you run the script uh, through your um, web interface and the printer will, will uh, measure a distance uh, with uh, these four screw distances on the bed. Uh, the first screw is the main screw and for the second, third and fourth you're gonna get uh, information uh, to unscrew or screw them. Keep in mind I made a mistake when it say turn it counterclockwise. 
or turn it, let's say turn it out clockwise, it is when you watch from the top. So basically clockwise is like this, counterclockwise on different side. I was assuming that was from the bottom, so that was really my mistake. But after that, I managed to get my bed perfectly leveled, like uh, under one millimeter of variance through the bed. So that that is really perfect. And I mean, the print is telling for itself. After that, you basically did half of the job. You have printer hardware set perfectly, you have the bed adjusted and you the, the Z offset is uh, the next 25%. So what you wanna do, there is a test print for bed leveling, which is called like uh, bed leveling 100 by 100 test cube, test square. You insert it to your printer, start printing. You basically can see how the head moves. And after that, you go into the settings, you come here to adjustment, you press uh, this first option, zero by zero one. And after that, you look at the uh, print head, how it moves, and you watch the lines. If they are too much squished, you rise the Z offset. If uh, the lines aren't aligned well, they're popping up, you move the print, print head down. Basically, if you see the, the, let's say the lines are just not sticking at all, you can start with 0.1. Do it once, wait a bit, see how it performs, fine tune with 0.01. I'm basically doing just that now, as I explained. So if I am leveling the bed, I, I do a, a, a screw tilt adjustment, uh, run the test square, adjust the Z offset down. I didn't do leveling for like a month and I'm not, not touching it because it performs perfectly. There is no reason to, to touch anything. And this is a pet G which is like when you Google it up, it is like, oh my, it is hard to, to print it complicated. You know, a lot of uh, some nonsense, which wasn't a problem for me when I tuned everything up. So I'm gonna show you some prints. This is a pet G print. So I'm using here uh, supports. So this is the worst part of the print, but that's it. This print looks beautiful. And this is a PETG printed uh, like uh, with 150 speed, which is quite fast for PETG with 230 degree. And check this out. This is from PET bottles print. Just look at it. It looks perfect. This was a, this was a test print. That that is why it is uh, uh, this small. And this is a filament uh, joiner, which is nothing special. But this is printed on Illegal Nap Four. What is the last twenty five percent left? It is a filament tuning, and that is for me the most daunting process which is left, but it is something which you need to do. There is always a process which you need to pass to, to get the best possible settings. Uh, for this pet drip filament, which is, as I said, a GTEC, these are the perfect settings. So 230, 75, uh, speed up to 120, no more. And with reaction, three millimeters with Z-Hop 0.5 and you will get uh, amazing prints no matter what i wa no matter what i was uh, 3d printing some super small parts functional parts everything was uh, perfect you can check on my youtube channel i have a, a lot of shorts uh, with my 3d prints they are majority uh, pet g with some uh, pla prints but you can check out they really look amazing so i don't want to bother you a lot I plan to record a lot more videos with my uh, Neptune 4. I'm gonna recommend you, if you're considering to purchase it, it is my warm recommendation. I plan to, to, to buy a plus version, 
because I want to have one printer with bigger bed and good printing printing cap capabilities, and that is uh, illegal not to for. I want to note I'm not sponsored. I paid this printer with my own money. Uh, I got it used, but uh, uh, I really want to to, to people get a, a solid printer for themselves, which can do amazing prints for low amount of money. Because this is it. You you need to to do some adjustments. There are some problems. This is a late latest firmware. Uh, I did update the latest firmware. Uh, uh, Z offset always do it from the screen don't do those clipper things i did try i spent like three days doing that it, it wasn't working proper properly this is something you need to do which uh, gonna help you a lot i hope you enjoyed consider subscribing see ya